what is up guys and welcome to our next game maker April 1 tutorial uh, in this tutorial we're going to do something a little different not really a game but we're going to create a little uh, a simple version of uh, of paint so the the, pa the Microsoft paint program I'm guessing that everyone who's watching this video has, uh, has used it in the past but, um, yeah we're not going to need any sprites because we're going to use uh, all the drawing functions uh, that are present in game maker at the moment so all you're going to need is just a one object and just call it object control. Now, obviously, we have no sprite; it doesn't need to be solid or anything. Uh, so we're just going to run our create event, and it, we're going to be using surfaces for this. Uh, if you haven't used surfaces before, you can check out my uh, my easy tutorial uh, for my other videos. I'm pretty sure it's called Simple Surfaces. Uh, that shows you the basics of it, but um, it's virtu virtually the same mechanics what we're going to use now. So we actually need uh, a surface name to start with. So let's just call it canvas and then just put surface create and the width and height which is the two arguments uh, in surface create and that's gonna, just going to be room width and room height spelled that wrong there. Now we need to set the colour so we need to first set the target which sets the target for the surface. If you don't know what this means you can just uh, go on to my other tutorial and I'll, I talk a uh, in depth about that um, in that video. So we need to set the target and we'll just put our, our, our surface name there and then just put draw clear alpha which makes the uh, the canvas basically clear uh, to a colour that we want. Uh, available they haven't created yet just put a canvas colour and put the alpha as one which is the next argument. So above all this just create a variable and call it canvas color. There's a number of colors in Game Maker, but mine's just going to be white. So I'm just going to put C white. You can just put C black or maybe blue or whatever. It actually comes up with all of them here. So you got aqua, dark gray, fuchsia, gray, green. But mine's just going to be white. So there we go. So now we've done this, but this isn't this isn't right because we need to reset the target. So just put surface reset target this doesn't have any arguments so you just put two brackets misspell it there there we go and that is the um that's the end of that part but we need to set some more variables and this is going to be for the mouse so what we need is the past x and that will equal all all of these variables are going to be are going to have something to do with the mouse so past y equals mouse y and then underscore x equals mouse x and underscore y equals mouse y now I'm going to explain that in the, next, in the step event what we're going to go into now so go into your step event create some uh, get uh, an execute code function put it in there so now we need to make past x equal underscore x from the variable before and past y equal underscore y I'm going to explain this once I've just typed it in so underscore x equals mouse x and then underscore y equals mouse y okay so before we actually put these past x and past y variables to equal mouse x like we've done like we've done these with uh, these before but we don't want these to uh, equal that we want it to be a uh, one step behind these uh, which is going to be important for later but this is just to ensure that uh, every single step this is one step behind so there's 30 uh, 30 steps in a second so every single step this uh, equals what that variable did before just so that um, we have a delay on, on the past x variables and past y but now that we've done that um, we actually need uh, need to do something so we're actually going to put a pen tool in and we're going to create uh, an eraser tool as well so to start with uh, we're going to have a mouse check left event so a mouse check button and then MB left that's the left mouse button and now we do uh, we, we need to uh, set the target again so surface set target and our target before was canvas uh, we need to draw set the colour so draw set colour and we're going to do C black that's going to be the colour of our of our um, of our pen tool 
and then just do draw line. Now this is going to be what we're going to use for our pen tool. Um, draw line it's a bit misleading because we're not actually going to be drawing a line because it's going to be so short that it's just going to look like a bunch of pixels. So draw a line and this has four arguments and this is what we're going to use for the mouse. So it can be past x, past y and then underscore x and underscore y. So this is why we needed the delay. So because these delayed, these are going to be one step behind the mouse. So it's going to start at the delay position and pick up where our mouse is now. So it's actually going to be visible instead of just one single point. But of course we also need to, so let's see if I've got a comma there. But um, yeah, now that we've done that, we need to reset the target again. So surface, reset target. And we're going to go back to that step event for the eraser tool, but I'm just going to show you what I have right now. But to do that, we actually need to draw this surface. So it's a simple function just called draw surface. And the first argument is the ID of our surface, and that's just called canvas. And the next two are the X and Y uh, coordinates. So we don't want any coordinates first because we're not going to be moving our canvas, so it's just going to be 0 and 0. But of course, for, uh, for any game, we need a room. So just create a room and just put object control in there. I'm going to show you a little uh, a bad thing about using this draw line thing. And that's obviously we can now draw. But if we draw and do really fast, you can see that all these lines are really jaggedy. And, you know, they don't really work well with a pen tool. So if you go into settings for your room, and obviously the speed is 30, but if you set the speed to 300, and then you play again, you can see that all them lines are mostly gone. And obviously, if you're creating anything, you don't really want to go that fast anyway. But as you can see, the lines are much, much more, you know, the smoother, a lot smoother. So that just helps with that. If you really wanted to, you could uh, use the draw pixel function, but it is incredibly inefficient. So you don't really want to do that unless you're really desperate for like a, a pristine paint program, which I, I don't think you are, but you know, whatever. Um... In fact, let's not copy and paste that, let's just do it. So now just put, um, for the uh, eraser tool, just put mouse trick button, and now put MB right. And obviously we're going to put the same as before, surface set target, canvas. And we did before we set the colour to black, but now we need to set it to our canvas colour. So, so it's going to act like an eraser. So, draw set colour, and then canvas color now obviously it's not really going to be an eraser because that will take up a lot of memory but what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to imitate it once I correct my spelling mistake there we go um, we're going to imitate it so we're actually going to use the draw circle function at the uh, mouse x and mouse y uh, sorry that variables that we created before underscore x and underscore y the radius I'm just going to put is 20 and the outline is zero. So this is actually going to imitate um, imitate an eraser. So it's going to be a circle eraser and it's just going to go over our canvas. And obviously we need to reset the target again. Now that's going to be a second lesson we're going to do. I'm just going to show you what we've got. So obviously you can draw lines like that. And if you hold the right mouse button, you can erase. Magical. Now the last thing we want to do, if you're just left with these lines, we want to reset the canvas. So you're just going to want to put if keyboard, oh, really bad with spelling today, sorry about that. If keyboard check direct, oh let's just put pressed because you don't want it, want it to repeat every single step. And just put odd R, that's when we're pressing the R key. Uh, then we want to reset it, so put draw clear alpha. This is one that we had in a step event, and this is just to reset our cam our uh, surface, which is called canvas. Um, reset it to the canvas color. This is why the canvas color is so important because we now we can now change it on the fly, so that it really doesn't matter what we put in here as long as we put canvas color. And put the alpha as one. So now if we do that, we can just draw. We can draw, and then we can use the the eraser tool and then R and it doesn't work that's great okay we need to uh, set the target sorry about that surface set target like we did before 
that's our canvas. Then we drag the alpha and then we do a surface reset target. There we go, that should work. We do that, then we do a rubber tool and then R and that resets it. There we go. So that was pretty easy, it's just a simple way of creating a little paint program. Um, if you want another tutorial I can do a, um, I could probably do an advanced tutorial on this with like maybe the rectangle tool and the circle tool, uh, some colour changes, other stuff like that. But um, if you enjoyed this video I'd appreciate a like, uh, a comment and a, and if you subscribe that'll be much appreciated as well. But um, yeah, thanks for watching this video and, uh, and goodbye.